Improving Permission Handling in iOS. One of my pet peeves when it comes to iOS is how permissions are handled when you launch an app for the very first time. So say you downloaded an app like the YouTube Capture app, which I have right here. I just downloaded this. I'm gonna launch this app here, and I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with my YouTube or with my Google account, as you see here, and it's signing in. Now it's going to ask me for permission to access uh, features on my device. So it's gonna to ask to access my video. So tap allow access, first of all, and then you have to tap allow access to your photos, as you see here. Now the problem with this, well, there's actually several problems, but one of the problems is that if you, by accident, just tap don't allow, say you're just speeding through the setup process, you accidentally tap don't allow, well, there's really no way to go back and fix that. So you have to go out of the app, go to settings, go to privacy and enable access. So I'm gonna tap okay here for photos. Now it's gonna ask me for access to the camera. So you, again, have to tap okay for access to the camera. Oh, now it's asking me for access to the microphone. You see all of these prompts and I don't even get to use the app yet. So all this time wasted explaining to me what, what needs to uh, be given access. And of course, Apple's doing this for a very good reason. They don't just wanna throw you to the wolves and give access to all your photos or your camera or your microphone on a whim to any app. So it's good that it's asking you for permission. It's just the implementation. Here's how they could do it better. Instead of inundating you with prompt after prompt and explanation after explanation, why not just present all the requested permissions on one page when you first launch the app, just like this. So you have notifications, location, calendar, microphone, and you can scroll up and down to access all the permissions right there on one page. And you can decline all permissions by tapping decline all, or you can allow all by tapping allow, or you can individually customize the permissions by using the toggles for each permission that the app is requesting just like that and then tap allow. So this is a better way that Apple could, could implement uh, permission handling in iOS in the future. What do you think? Do you think this is a better way to implement permission handling in iOS or do you like the current way where it prompts you for every single permission that it wants to give access to? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.